Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here, and yes, here is another, yet another update video on my texture pack that I'm creating for Minecraft 1.13. If you haven't seen the previous three videos on this texture pack that I'm creating, please watch those because I'm not going to repeat myself in those previous three videos. We pretty much talked about the blocks that I created, and this video is pretty much going to be the items. I know I said I was done, but then I discovered how easy it was to create items and how important the items were and how important clear weather is and so we're gonna talk about items today but first just in case you haven't watched the previous three videos i have to be clear about something so we're gonna have a quick introduction here there are two things going on that are completely separate the first thing is i've completely converted the redcraft smooth realism 128 resolution texture pack to become be completely and fully compatible with minecraft 1.13 if you don't know anything about texture packs a lot changed with 113 folder names, path names, file names, file, it just every so much stuff changed. PC made it, whatever that file is called, that metadata file changed. It all changed. I had to painstakingly convert everything to get my favorite Redcraft texture pack to work in 113. But you're looking at it right now. What you're looking at is all Redcraft, and there's the debug screen. And we're in 113 pre 7. So there you go. We're in 113. And I've been making changes as it pre releases change things because every pre-release there's been changes so anyway this is the redcraft that i converted i will love to share it with everybody but i cannot get a hold of redcraft to get permission i've emailed them contacted them in social media they're just i don't think it's abandoned i think it's just a bunch of busy folks i know there's more than one person they have a team now but i think they're busy so until i get permission to share this conversion i cannot share it with you you'll just have to watch my video series and enjoy it through my videos i guess but as soon as I do get permission to share my Redcraft conversion, I will. Now, if they're going to convert it themselves, fine, even better. But um, for right now, there is no Redcraft that exists for 113 except my conversion, which I cannot share at the moment, and I'm sorry about that. And that brings us to the second thing. The second thing is I'm creating my own texture pack, which in theory is independent from this one, from Redcraft. It's my own texture pack. But uh, however, it's intended for now at least to sit on top of something and the reason for that is because redcraft has not had any textured updates or block additions since like 1.10 or 1.11 i know on their website it says 1.12 because it works in 1.12 but no new block since 1.11 has been added to the redcraft and the default textures trigger migraines for me so i cannot use default textures the pixels are just too big and the color contrast is just too much so i need something and um and I have been wanting something, looking for something for ages. Couldn't find anything I liked, so I'm like, I'll just create my own. Now, someday I do wish to have my own completely independent, standalone texture pack. And while my texture pack right now is separate and independent from the Redcraft, it's not complete. I'm missing 336 of my own blocks. So therefore, I need to run something under my texture pack. And that's where the Redcraft comes in. So two completely separate independent things going on here. However, I'm in, I'm having them work together. So my own texture pack I could share because it's all my own stuff. But it wouldn't make much sense because the main most common blocks are not in my texture pack. Maybe someday. But as soon as I'm done with this video, 113 is going to release any day now. And I want to play the game. So after this video, I'm done updating this texture pack, at least for now. Because I really want to play the game. So... Let's hop to it here. Let's go to first person view and turn our stuff back on. And let's talk about my texture pack because that's what we're here to talk about. Mostly it is item updates in this video. However, there are a few blocks I did since the previous video. So let's talk about those. Let's swing down here. First thing I want to do, talk about my sea lanterns. In the previous video, I talked about the prismarine, which changes colors, and the dark prismarine and the bricks. However, the sea lanterns were still default and they look ridiculous. Um, these look better, and again, just a disclaimer, I'm not claiming my texture pack to be great or good or even any good at all. Some of you might hate it, some of you might love it, but I'm enjoying making it, I'm enjoying how it looks, and it doesn't trigger migraines, so that's why I'm doing it. So here we go, back on topic. Sea lanterns, I animated them, and I animated the bricks around it too and put a frame on there. And the reason why I did the bricks is if you look, they blend in with the prismarine bricks perfectly. They also blend in with the dark prismarine perfectly. Little magic trick I did there. So even though they're embedded here in two different textures, it's the same sea lantern, but it fits perfectly in 
both blocks. It stands out here, but that's because this changes colors on purpose and has that magical feel. But otherwise, I'm happy with them. I might make them look a little fancier. And maybe they look too similar to these textures? I don't know. We'll have to see. If I ever visit an ocean monument, we'll see how they look. Um, but they don't, they don't look too bad. I'm happy with them. Let's move on to the Mingma, which I finally figured out what to do with Mingma. The Mingma, oh, as much as I liked it, it was such a migraine trigger. So what I did is I took real, a picture of real dark rock here. And I threw it on top of the default flashing colors. Because the flashing colors are close enough in color that it doesn't bother me. So I kept that, but I changed the rock. And I'm very, very pleased. I probably redid that a dozen times until I did something I like. I got the blocks to blend from block to block so you can barely tell where the pattern repeats. I put a lot of work into that and it totally pays off because we will be seeing that in game. Moving along now, we're going to move to... It's not quite an item, but the flower pot. I'm really proud of this flower pot. It looks great. I could not stand the default one. It looks great. I got a poppy in there for right now. And I got some dirt in there. But there's a flower pot. Really happy with that. That's a real flower pot, by the way, that I took a picture of. Moving along because I have like 100 items to talk about and I want this video to be short. End portal stuff. The end stone and the purple and all that, the end bricks and the coarse fruit, that's all mine from before. Now I finally did the end portal because I sure hope I see an end portal someday <laughs> in game. Now the end, the eye, that is Redcraft and it's not in my texture pack. That's sitting under my texture pack because you know you can, you can layer texture pack to Minecraft. So that's just there to show you, but. Um, that's not mine. That's under mine. But anyway, the end portal is mine. And then I did some fancy stuff and put some purple in there. Also, the end rod, I changed that a little bit too. I put the base to match my purple pillars that I made. And the coloring I changed a little bit on the rod itself because the default bricks or the blocks were so big it kind of gave me a little headache. So that's that for block textures. Now I think we're going to get completely into items. Yes, we are. So we're going to do items. I'm going to fill my hotbar row by row, and we're just going to go through these items really quickly. You are all familiar with Minecraft. You know how the items are supposed to work. So I'm going to get my first hotbar set up here, and I'll jump right back with a nice edit. All right, so here we go. This is a lead in my hand. If you throw it on the ground, that's what a lead looks like that I've created. Another wart comes from the nether wart plant, so that matches finely. Let's get rid of that one. Now these doors. Okay. This door is a Redcraft door, but Redcraft did not have an item. So in your hand, it was default, but they had a door. So what I did is I made it into an item and I put it in their item folder to keep it completely separate from my texture pack. So if I do complete my texture pack and share it, it will not have any Redcraft in it. I mean, it doesn't right now either, and I'm going to keep it that way. I'm not going to mix and match too many you know, issues there. Even if I get permission, I'll never mix and match. So this oak door again, this is Redcraft's door, but they had a default item. So I put this in their item folder to keep it separate from mine. Same with the spruce, this is their door. But again, I put the item in their item folder to keep it separate. Bridge door is mine though. You can tell because the quality is much less. This is their jungle door again in their item folder, not mine, keep it separate. And my acacia door, you can tell because it's terrible. And my oak door, you can tell because it's terrible. But it's better than default. Let's get daylight here though first before we move on to the next row. Alright, so moving along. Cookie. Yes, it's a real cookie. I've never used cookie in game, but I'm going to have to start. Potato. We'll see those a lot in game. That's real potato, of course. Big potato that I made. And poisonous potato that I made. And the beetroot. If you look at a picture of a real beetroot stock, it looks exactly like that. Even though I hand drew that, that's exactly what it looks like. So I'm kind of pleased. That was an a good accident to have a beetroot stock that looks exactly like the real thing. Beetroot seeds look exactly like that. Now this carrot is red crafts. As an object, I made an item for them and dumped it in their item folder. So this is red craft in their item folder, not mine. I made a look golden threw it in their item folder as well. And this is red craft sugar cane that I compressed to fit in the hand and put it in their item folder. So again, these are not borrowed textures. I just made them into items because the items were still default for their texture pack. And I put it in their item folder. I'm keeping it separate from mine, but now we have their textures as items. Always what happens is you have a nice sugar cane that they would have, but then you have default texture in your hand and in your inventory. But now I threw it in their item folder 
And there it is. Next row. Here we go. All right, so again, this is Redcraft Wheat that I compressed and made into an item and put in their item folder because it's their wheat, but the item was default. But now I put it in their item folder, so there's an item there now. This Rotten Flesh is completely mine, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. I love it. Flint and Steel, this is completely mine. All these are mine now. Um, flower Pot, I like that. I took the Prismine Shard from the Prismine back there. Crystals, I made these crystals. I'll probably never see these in-game because I don't ever plan on getting anywhere near an Ocean Monument, but just in case, I have crystals. Now these powders and dyes, I love how these turned out. Here's Blaze Powder. It's not as yellow as it could be, I guess, but it's more of a powder, so I didn't really want to be that yellow. I love, love, love how the bone meal turned out. This is probably my, one of my favorite textures. I do have a few splatters on the edge of the texture that I may get rid of, although I don't know, maybe it's okay. Ink Sack um, looks terrible in my hand, but far away it looks good, so whenever you kill a squid, that's what you'll see. The Spectral Arrow, now the arrow is red crafts, and they didn't have a Spectral Arrow, so I made one, and I put it in their item folder, so that's a red craft texture pack object, not my texture pack, or not object, item. These dies, now I love, love, love how my dies turned out. So this is the purple die, and by the way, all of these dies use the hex code color from Minecraft, so these are Minecraft's colors. Just faded a little bit, because it's powder. So there's purple there. And a little bit of like transparency things on the sides, which it may or may not leave. I haven't decided yet. There's the cyan, light gray, gray, pink, lime, light blue, magenta, and there's more. I just got to get them set up and clear the weather again. All right, moving right along, there's the orange dye. I love that. Lapis. I love how the lapis turned out. It might be a little too colorful, but I want it to look more like an agate or a gem or something, so that's how I came up with that. Cactus Green, I know it's a little limey, but I think it looks okay. I love the name tag. I actually have a name tag looking thing. Cocoa Beans, whoops, stay away name tag. Um, Iron Nugget, looks like an Iron Nugget. Clay Ball, because it is a clay ball. Charcoal, because it is charcoal. And Fermented Spider Eye, don't ask. I just needed to come up with something. And here's the regular Spider Eye, which isn't amazing, but I needed something because I can never stand the default Spider Eye. So there is a regular Spider Eye. It looks kind of meaty and raw and gross, and that's kind of the point, I think. Here's a fish, real fish. I just got to figure out how to get into a bucket. Raw mutton, that is a real piece of raw mutton and cooked. And a raw rabbit, not a real rabbit, but it is real meat. And cooked. And I didn't have a rabbit foot, so I took my cat's foot and I made a rabbit foot out of it. So it looks like it got a little bit of texture to clear up there. I should also make that a lot smaller, I think. I'm going to make that a lot smaller. And then quartz, a real piece of quartz. So we're in the nether. Farming for quartz. We'll see real quartz fall down. So there you have it. That is my latest update to my texture pack. Again, I have a few things to tweak maybe. I don't really plan on adding any more things now because the game is coming out any day. Or the 113 release is coming out any day and I want to play the game. I would love, as I said, to come up with the remaining 336 textures for myself to have my own completely independent texture pack. And while my texture pack is independent from the Redcraft, I am intending it for now to ride on top of Redcraft. And that's just how it needs to be until I come up with my own textures. But I don't have that kind of time or the skill, really, I don't think. So we're going to do what we can. If I get permission, as I said, if I get permission from Redcraft, I will share their conversion. And I can always share mine now because I don't have any Redcraft stuff in it. But it would be kind of silly to use my texture pack without anything under it. But I guess you could. You could throw it on top of something else, I guess. So if you're interested in my texture pack, let me know. But um, And if you're interested in the Redcraft conversion, let me know too. But I can't share it yet. So anyway, a little bit longer of a video than I intended, but there's a lot of stuff to go through, and I really, really wanted to make it clear that I am running two texture packs right now, independent from each other. I just wanted to be very clear about that. Because as my channel picks up steam and people see this, I just I cannot have any ambiguity there. So, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon for my own single player world as soon as 113 drops. And then once the Paul Soros Jr. Patreon server goes live at 113, I will be recording for Survivor Craft. There's a lot of us on YouTube. There's 167 people signed up to play. There's at least a dozen or more YouTubers. As I learn who they are, I will let you know. So you can watch all of our videos and see the same server from different perspectives because it's super fun to do that. Survivor Craft, it's called. Look for it soon. And I'll see you then. I'm going to get cover.
and get away from this storm.